Welcome to the Whiskey Couch. My name is Gustav Miller and today I'm very excited because I'm going to review one of my favorite whiskies, Dalvini 15 year old single malt whiskey from the Highland of Scotland and I will also make a few recommendations if you want to pair this whiskey with food. Dalvini, the word comes from a Gaelic word that means meeting place and uh, Dalvini distillery like I said right in the center of the highland of Scotland. It's also one of the highest distilleries in Scotland, altitude-wise. And it is also one of the coldest inhabited places in Scotland. Dalvini Distillery founded in 1898, 1898. So it's been around for a very long time. Currently owned by Diageo. And this whiskey, Dalvini, 15 year Old whiskey, of course, one of the six original classic malts by the Agio. In terms of sales and production, the Dalvini distillery can produce 1.4 million liters of whiskey every year. It's been matured in ex bourbon casks mainly, but also a bit of ex sherry casks, bottled at 43% for the South African market. 40% for the European market. It doesn't say anything on the packaging about chill filtration or tasteless coloring added. So we don't know about any of that matured in ex bourbon. You do know, of course, that uh, when whiskey is distilled, it's clear as water, but in the maturation process in the oak cask that it receives. 60% of its flavor and 90% of its color. If you read the packaging on the bottle, it says that you can expect aroma and tasting notes like heather honey and vanilla and also a bit of smoke. Let's see if we agree with that today. The color is a, is a amber to bright, amber to bright gold color. Amber to bright gold color. Fresh. Fresh aromas on the nose. Heather, honey, creamy vanilla. I must agree with that. I'm not picking up the smoke. It says that there's a hint of smoke. I'm not not getting any of that, but strong on the vanilla and the honey. Also a bit of fruit salad. Also a bit of fruit salad. There's citrus and custard. Floral notes. So soft. So soft yet rich with the vanilla and the honey. Soft but rich. Smooth. Malt. Malt and cereal. Maybe a touch of smoke on the palate. A bit of nuts and a bit of fruits but as I taste it I'm just picturing picturing this piece of sponge cake with uh, whiskey laced let's make it custard mm. absolute favorite the finish is long and malty sweet with a hint of fruits wood spice that that just balances everything. In summary, I would say smooth and rich. Smooth, sweet and rich. And a recommendation if you want to pair this with food, I would go for a chocolate covered honeycomb or that sponge cake with whiskey laced custard or something simple like whispers. It says here milk chocolate with a malted honeycomb center. If you take a sip of whiskey and uh, take one of those and just chew it so that it coats your mouth and then add another sip and you will find it most, most pleasant. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow with more whiskey tasting and whiskey and food pairing. Slonger.